Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. And we have the King of Pentacles. My gut feeling is that, that your higher self is saying this is you. Um, that in one way or another, your higher self is saying, be proud of how well manifested you are. So we've come into this 3D reality to, um, you know, em embody physical bodies, to experience a range of emotions, to see manifestations come to fruition. And in one way or another, your higher self is saying, you are excelling here. Um, keep going, you know, and also take stock, take note of everything you've already achieved. It could be money, it could be friends, family, um, something to do with your health, um, it could be home, it could be travel, it could be wisdom, you know, whatever it is, maybe it's all of those things or a few of them, your higher self is saying, first of all, just want you to know you're clearly a catch, you know, you're, you're clearly a winner here, so, <laughs> um, so maybe it's a message to just remind yourself of how much you've achieved already. Wow, three of swords reversed, okay. So my viewers, higher self, oh, the emperor, okay, got some Aries energy there. We have the three of pentacles. Um, your higher self is saying, you're the king of pentacles, but this person you have in mind, I don't know if this is a very present energy and this is how you see this person now or maybe it's been your dominant belief and vibration around this connection for some time even if it's changed you know more recently but there's a feeling of looking over at this person and in some way putting them above you you know we've got the king of pentacles amazing lots of success in whichever way um in your human form but then we have the emperor you know we know the emperor and the empress sort of like rule the tarot deck um, and you're wanting it to team up with this person. So of course, you know, maybe in a relationship, maybe you want to work on something with them, but there's a feeling of somehow deferring to them or looking to them or feeling like I'm pretty great, but I've got this person on a bit of a pedestal. And I think your higher self wants you to know it's not that you're a king and they're an emperor. It, it might be that you're both emperors or you're both kings or whatever it is, but it's not, you know, it, it's not so straightforward as you think they earn more than you or they have a better job than you or something like that. It's more of an emotional thing of they maybe have felt a bit out of reach um, or, or it feels like you're always reaching up to try and, and grab hold of them or um, having to do something more, be something more, give something more. Um, like they are this golden ticket that you really want to grab hold of. And I think your higher self wants to say, actually, maybe it's the other way even you know maybe maybe look at this from a different perspective here because the three of pentacles is these three people each you know um showing up doing their fair share no one feels like they're above anyone else they're all just working towards a common goal so on the one hand it's it's saying i believe i feel i'm on equal footing with this person we're in an equal position, we could work well together, but on the other, kind of putting it out there emotionally or energetically, that they are the prize you're going for. You're trying to get them to talk to you, to acknowledge you, to be with you, to respond to you, whatever it is, it's like you're pursuing them, you're seeking them. So we've got two different vibrations going on. On some level feeling like, as I said, seeking, pursuing, trying to engage them in some way, chasing after them. But then on the other, the ultimate goal is we're equal. So I think your higher self as well is saying there's a bit of, um, you know, you've got a couple of different things going on in, you know, with your frequency here. And it may not be super, super obvious because this here this is i don't think this is you as i said it's not as straightforward as saying oh my person's amazing so much better than me or you know all of that um i think it's coming through as like a second hand sort of vibration as a result of see how this king is looking over at the emperor it's like excuse me hey you i i said something acknowledge me respond to me treat me with you know the respect that i'm treating you with um, so it's this kind of energy you're feeling like you want something from them, you're needing something from them, 
which kind of feels a little bit like the footing is not equal there. Well, I think you get what I mean. Let me keep going. You know, if we're trying to carry this Three of Pentacles equality throughout, it would be that there's equal give and take between the King and the Emperor, which um, does <clears throat> excuse me involve your person in the 3D, obviously, contributing as well, reaching out, responding, engaging, that sort of thing. Okay. We have the Hierophant, Taurus. Seven of Wands reversed, and we have the Six of Wands reversed. And we have the Magician. Wow, your higher self wants you to know um, the biggest message here is that you are absolutely able to manifest whatever it is you want here. And even if you're saying, well, that sounds very nice, but it sounds like a fairy tale right now because I've been trying to manifest this for years. It could be three or more years even for some of you, but we're seeing actually where there's this clash and what could have been getting in the way a little. So, um, let me take a break from this message because I personally don't feel satisfied that I've delivered it properly, but I'll come back to it. Hopefully in the meantime, my subconscious will figure it out, um, you know, how to relay it. Six of, of Wands reversed with the Emperor. Your higher self is saying, your person sitting on this throne as an emperor is a slight illusion here. If you've ever felt that they have looked down on you or not thought you were good enough or whatever it is, they actually feel that you are higher up than them. And when I'm saying about, you know, status, pedestals, being higher up, this is from their perspective, from your perspective at times, perhaps. It's not actually fact, it's not my opinion or anything like that, but this is someone who truly deep down believes that, that you have the actual, tangible, visible, stable, secure success that they are faking. So let's say you have a nice home, good relationships, or you've got a really great job, or you're very secure in your religion or spirituality, or you have a sense of knowing, wisdom, self-belief. They're trying to project all of that, but with the Six of Wands reversed, they don't truly believe it. And it's almost like, I don't want to budge because other people might see that I'm pretending at this as well. Um, this to me here, Three of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands reversed, feels like your higher self is acknowledging that you've been very open-hearted consistently with this person, but you face rejection. There are some unhealed wounds here, and I think you might be looking to your person and feeling like this will not be fully healed until I get something from them. Communication, an apology, forward momentum, confirmation that they also see me, acknowledge me, feel the same, want the same thing. But yeah, it's, it's coming back to this. It's in that energy of wanting that it feels like it's not this equal three of pentacles. Okay, let's say I'm working on a project, me and someone else. I'm doing my work. I keep emailing them. Can you update me? Where are we with this? We need to discuss that. And they're not getting back to me. And I start feeling frustrated. I feel like I'm doing everything. I've got no idea if they're even working on it at all. It does. It's not equal. You know, equal would be... They, they check in as well, we have Zoom meetings, or we meet up, and it, it's flowing. Um, but in doing this, in chasing them down, you know, email after email, hello, you know, you're getting, <laughs> getting on my nerves, not that, you know, obviously you wouldn't say that, but it's like, we need to work to the deadline, what are you doing over there? Um, I'm not personally feeling like, oh, I'm not as good as them or I'm not on an equal footing. In fact, I might start thinking like, clearly this person isn't up to scratch, you know, they shouldn't have taken on this responsibility that they can't handle, but it's the energy of it. The energy is me seeking something from them. It's it's not me believing I give something, they give something, because maybe that's just not the situation. Maybe that's just not what I've experienced. So there's something here about energy work and I know sometimes that's just like, oh, really? Because it doesn't feel proactive enough. But with this magician, I do feel it's going to be, it, it will quickly manifest. You will quickly see signs of this. The payoff will be big. It will be significant. Um, okay. So let's see what else your higher self wants to say about perhaps what is going on um, with this emperor, you know, person situation. Yeah, look, Ten of Cups reversed, actually not happy. Ooh, Knight of Wands, so they're very passionate about you. Page of Wands reversed, so they could be almost, 
it's like they've glued their butt to the chair because they know if they weren't glued down they would get up and come towards you but for some of you there could be um you know a different a, another relationship in the way and even though they're not happy in it it kind of does need to be end it does need to end first that sort of thing um maybe they're not happy within themselves and that causes them to race towards you and then disappear and come towards you and disappear whereas they know that's not actually okay because however it seems this person actually does really hold you in high regard and respect you um page of wands reversed perhaps also they're wanting to get something moving reach out but they are not right now let's clarify that page of wands Eight of Swords, Overthinking, Seven of Swords, Reverse. Well, that's good. This is someone who wants to do things above board. I'm thinking of the Justice card. I don't know if in the past they haven't done that. Um, and they're saying, I don't want any more bad karma accumulated. You know, I just want to treat people with respect. Um, definitely treat you with respect. Yeah, Three of Cups, Reverse. For a lot of you, there's a third party. I don't know if it's romantic on their side or... Um, uh, familial work whatever it is something's in the way and they're saying I want to take the proper steps here I don't want to make you a secret I don't want to completely destroy somebody else's self-esteem just because I don't want to be with them you know or um, I don't want to break some kind of work contract and get fired and ruin my reputation or whatever it is I want to do it properly um, I also feel six of wands reverse. This is someone who is really pushing past their ego, which is which is a good thing. So let's just have a look at the magician then before we move to your person's higher self. Oof, there we go. However far in you are in this journey, however things have been, however long it's been going, however hopeful or hopeless the situation seems, whatever your personal situation, your higher self wants you to know you can restart this. You can have this new beginning it, and it, it's in the energy here. Um, like I said, that analogy, I'm trying to get a response from someone. To me, it just seems logical, just seems practical. But what my energy is saying, what my vibration is saying is, I feel like I've got to chase this person down and I don't have much hope that they're even going to acknowledge me, which kind of puts them outside of my reach. You know, they're that emperor that's unreachable and that is not this three of pentacles. So um, I would say, you know, whatever works for you, journaling, meditation, scripting, free writing, um, if you've got your own tarot deck, pull some cards, really investigate this energy, um, See if this message, you know, aligns, resonates with you. And it, it, it's not on the surface. It's almost like the effect of the obvious thing. So the subtle energetic effect of me chasing someone via email. Um, so just really ask, you know, ask yourself, okay, so something I'm putting out there energetically that's actually interfering with my true belief and intention that we are equals and we would work amazingly together professionally romantically emotionally all the things um okay so i'm gonna leave that there i hope i hope that message makes sense um let's get into your person's or message their higher selves message for you about this connection and i have an oracle deck i want to use and i'm worried i might forget so let me bring it down so hopefully i won't okay so for my viewers from my viewers higher self oh my god no <laughs> from my viewers person's higher self what messages do you have for my viewers so yes my viewers person's higher self please pass on the messages that you have for my viewer okay queen of swords okay oh we have the empress you see them as the emperor they see you as the empress wow very nice um oh i have uh, we have for your the message from your higher self taurus um aries aquarius gemini aries yeah okay so we have here with the empress we've got taurus and libra the magician are you kidding me yes do you see what i mean there is so much um hope and potential here and the way you're seeing each other it's overlapping we've got the magician twice we have the emperor then we have the empress this three of pentacles is absolutely possible 
and your higher self again is reminding me is wanting me to to emphasize again doesn't matter what's happened up until this point or how long it's been going on you always have the 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 chance to begin this again and it starts with a new energetic beginning okay we have the page of swords the first thing I get here from your person's higher self is that your person's higher self wants you to know that your person holds you in such high regard. Your person thinks you're unstoppable, that you can manifest and create anything that you want. They actually really, really do want to speak with you, but they're holding themselves back. And we saw that actually just a moment ago as well. Um, your person in the 3D looks at you as being a bit of a queen of swords as well so I don't know if um, they've watched how you are quite firm in your speech with other people or maybe you said something to them but they feel you're very intelligent um, very good with words and communication and you're not afraid to say something that might on the surface seem a bit harsh if you believe it's true and it needs to be said so I don't know if you said something to them potentially just saw the page of wands trying to come out Okay, messages from my viewer's person's higher self. Oh, look, page of pentacles, okay. Yes, as much as your person might be sitting on their throne trying to project an image of being an emperor, they feel they feel like a page. This person also is learning from you, I think in quite a literal sense as well. They might watch you, watch how you interact with people, how you show up in work, career, or with home, um, with family at home, with whatever it is. They're kind of learning from you, actually. King of Swords reversed, yeah. So they actually don't feel that they're on your level, especially with communication. So in the past, you may have said something to your person, it really struck a chord and they want to respond to it, but they haven't been able to. So I'll come back in and see what's going on with that. Six of pentacles in reverse, five of wands. Okay, so I do wonder if um, for some of you, your person is worried about competition. So essentially the message here from your person's higher self is that you both want the same thing. You've got the three of coins, teamwork. They've got the six of pentacles, um, equality, equal give and take. You both want balance. You both want this to manifest in a 3D sense or to manifest more, you know, beyond where you currently are and to both show up and give and receive equally. Now, interesting we had that whole sort of slightly complex message for you about you know the subtle energy going on and here for your person we've got the magician so on the one hand they might even consciously be trying to manifest you or do things to draw you towards them but what they're actually doing with the six of pentacles reversed is manifesting this subtle belief that they have that maybe that's not possible this equal give and take is impossible um why why do they think it's not possible well possibly there are other people involved so there are those practical concerns to overcome but also king of swords reversed queen of swords upright they don't think they're on your level so maybe they're saying i want equal give and take with communication you know the magician gemini communication um but they don't really believe in themselves enough so how is that going to happen it's like they're saying one thing but the universe listens to energy, not words. And their energy is saying, oh, I'm not up to scratch. I can't hold a really, you know, I can't hold the sort of conversation I want with you, you know, my person. So um, I'm just going to keep hoping for it, even though I don't believe it. Okay. But you both want, want the same thing, it seems. Okay, so let's go in with this King of Swords. What is it that um, they'd like to, to pick up but haven't maybe been able to yet? I think it's responding to something maybe you've said. Nine of Swords, something they have been thinking about a lot. Something that's worrying them, bothering them. Oh, Three of Swords, wow. Something that has been upsetting them as well. Now, interestingly, I think if you have said something to them, maybe you even had to cut them out of your life or something like that. And I, I kind of think it happened some time ago, but look how fresh the pain is, Three of Swords, which tells me how much, you know, they think about you and think about whatever's happened and how much it still bothers them. Oh, Judgment reversed, yes. Eight of Cups reversed. So coming back to find those, those two cups, the two of cups. Mm well it seems very clear to me if you're in no contact 
what your person wants to do is reach out to you and tell you um, they would like a new beginning, they don't want this to be over, that they have discovered this whole new level of love and connection with you during the separation. Um, if Even if you are communicating, but it's a bit sort of like dodgy, iffy, neither of you know where you stand, there is some wounding, some pain, all of that, um, it's like, look, can we just have a fresh start and begin again? I don't want to give up, I just want a fresh new beginning here. Um, and this is really, really, really on their mind. Nine of Swords, Three of Swords. Wow. And actually, I think, yeah, look, this is the same column where we have that Three of Swords reversed for you. So your person's higher self wants you to know that even if it seems to you, you're the only one carrying this lingering um, sadness or disappointment, um, and that maybe your person sort of is not feeling it or not engaging with it at all, actually, it feels like it's even more prevalent in their energy than yours it's even more raw for them than you but they're sitting there as that stoic emperor from your perspective so you wouldn't know this um right well okay this is full of potential and this is you know you, this is from the, the perspective of your higher self and their higher self. So we're kind of looking down on this we have a really clear perspective we're not getting weighed down in the 3D stuff you know, you're not getting bogged down with that. So your higher selves are coming through to be like, look, this is what needs to happen to get this potential moving here. Um, okay, let me see about this page of pentacles and um, this princess of swords. Because for some of you, yes, they want to talk about this third party situation or, you know, the third party doesn't even have to just be one person, it could be several. So let's see, Page of Pentacles, please. What's this? Four of Wands reversed. Some of them, there's a foundation and they're almost feeling afraid to leave it, like they'd have to step out on their own. And it's the energy of someone who is moving out of the familial home for the first time. And this, you know, your person could be could have moved out years and years ago and, and they've moved around different houses since or something like that but I think what's different here is to step into this connection with you in this fully manifested way that they want they would have it would be new it would be doing it in a new way so let's say for example um your person has only ever lived with partners and then they got stuck in this cycle where they realized they weren't in love they wanted to leave the relationship but they needed the stability of the shared home or whatever it is and this time they would have to go and invest in their own home and keep up with the bills by themselves or something you know something like that there's something about doing it differently here that makes them feel like they would be doing it for the first time and there's a nervousness around taking that practical step okay what else justice libra energy two of pentacles yes and it's also this thing of i want to take the appropriate step so we saw this come through in the message a moment ago from your higher self um i have evolved i've been reflecting i've sort of i feel like i've, I've become more mature and um, i don't want to do things behind anyone's back i want to be balanced fair honest and that's new so yeah, for some of you, this is someone who was kind of happy to move around in that Seven of Swords energy in the past, but it's not... So oh, look! It's not something they want to do now. I've just noticed this Two of Pentacles literally says Lord of Harmonious Change at the bottom. So yes, they want change, but now, you know, this time they want to do it in a way that is as healthy and as fair as possible. It's like even if, let's say it's a karmic, they have to leave, even if they don't love this person or even like them, it's like, well, the least I can do is just respect them and try and leave in a way that doesn't destroy, you know, their self-confidence for the rest of their life or something like that. Um, okay, so five of ones, page of swords. What's this um, challenge, this third party energy? Oof, Seven of Swords. Um, Knight of Wands reversed, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. Mm, yeah, this to me looks like the past. Knight of Wands in reverse. I think this is how they may have showed up. Kind of immature, very passionate, very keen, maybe lots of lust, um, very 
temperamental sort of energy no you know you never know what you're going to get when you sort of phone them or message them or something like that um and maybe they never knew how they were going to be then we have the queen of cups i feel this is you having been constant consistent with your energy your emotions patient um open-hearted not um guarded or anything like that and then we've got the seven of swords and that caused so you know this seven of swords deceptive energy caused so much pain to you in the long run to them possibly other people as well if anyone else was involved and this seven of swords says lord of unstable effort so that's you know again we see that with this knight of wands here they're not here or they've come back or they've disappeared again this unstable effort really uh potentially pushed you from being the queen of cups into the queen of swords you know getting kind of more logical head over heart a bit firm with them maybe at some point you said enough is enough so now yeah now they want the six of pentacles equal give and take i do wonder with the five of wands though that if in the meantime maybe they know you've met someone else or if you've not spoken for a long time they wonder have you met someone else um if they met someone else, you know, and you know there is a third party, they could be saying, I've really added some complications here and now I've got to move through those and I'm, I fully intend and my, you know, I'm determined to do it in a fair way. None of this Seven of Swords anymore. Um, so there may, you know, they may have created some more obstacles now, but, you know, they're not going to use that as an excuse to, to be sneaky or low vibrational. Um, okay, so... Let's get a message from this oracle deck and I'll read from the book. Okay, what's the message please you'd like to leave my viewer with today? Okay. So we have the number 40 and it says second house and we have resources. Okay, so let's see what the book says. Um, if your chart were a village map, your second house would hold your bank, museum and warehouses. It symbolizes what you value, such as your body and your relationship to the material world. That's crazy because that's literally everything I was trying to talk about with this King of Pentacles. The second house also describes that phase of infancy where you're just discovering that you can have a body, toes and fingers, and you can taste and smell. Explore how you feel about money. So many people on the spiritual path have mixed feelings about money, their bodies and possessions, drawn to abundance and at the same time wrestling with guilt or discomfort around desire. This approach avoidance conflict around the material world can make it hard to focus your efforts and it may send out mixed messages until the universe doesn't know how to respond to you. Okay, well I'm ex you know I'm expanding this message into um well, so I feel this is your higher self saying give yourself credit for everything you've achieved. The mixed messages, I don't so much think it's about money and material things. I think you look pretty comfortable actually with all of that and your relationship to it. I think the mixed messages is that subtle energy I was talking about, um, but maybe you haven't fully realized it's been going on because it, it's very subtle. You know, universe, I want this equality, this partnership, but the energy is saying, I don't believe I'm gonna get it because I have to write to this person 10 times before I get one response. So my energy believes there's an imbalance. So, okay yeah back to that okay so i will leave this here but i hope this has helped um i hope it, maybe it's given sort of like a window into thinking about this in a different way or accessing perhaps even some blockages that you didn't re realize were there so that you can clear them and move forward um and also i hope that your person will realize they're a king of swords and they can you know communicate with you even if they have a different communication style they can still communicate um what they're thinking and wanting Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for being here as always and I will see you soon. Bye.